So we are at the Moon Dance themed cabin out in the woods. And there's a hot tub and it's pretty cool. I'll take a video during the day, but it's getting later and everything and well might make a fire tonight. But yeah, it changes um colors. Has a jets. Different does different colors. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, we're here, just uh, me and my family. Me, my dad, my mom, and my brother for the weekend in October. And, uh, yeah, we went on a hike today at the Red River Gorge Natural Bridge site, and that was pretty epic. It was a really nice walk and everything. Well, this is our room. So this is a cabin, they're themed cabins, and uh, this one is called the Moon Dance. Pretty cool. Yeah. We're out about two hours from where we live in um, a place called Slade, Kentucky. Um, yeah, we got to our cabin like an hour, about an hour or so ago. And we're settling in, and uh, tomorrow, gonna be doing some ATV riding, which is like you know, four wheel driving. Um, never done it before, but it's gonna be pretty pretty cool, doing new things. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much a wrap for now. Gonna go uh, get in the hot tub and chill, uh, and. Uh, have a close here. I'll see. I gotta take a video of um, take a video of some neat little things we get into. Uh, take some pictures and make memories and everything. It's gonna be pretty cool. So peace out. So we are at Red River Gorge, and it's been a nice first time experience here. Uh, me and uh, family, my parents and my brother, we have uh, traveled here about two hours away from Louisville in Slade, Kentucky. And it's just really, this is a really nice place. It speaks for itself connecting with nature. So we're at a cabin called the Moon Dance Cabin. Uh, we got here uh, Friday. We got here like in the evening. We had um, all Saturday, and uh, we're leaving today at uh, like 11. So we got another about another hour here. I'm just, you know, the hot tub, it's been great. The jets, uh, so yeah, fam, we did spend some time hanging out in here, of course. Um, it's not super cold yet, but the temperature outside is great. It's late October. Yeah, came here for my brother's birthday, his 18th birthday. And, uh, yeah. 
we uh, went um, four-wheeling, or I should say off-roading, um, on trails in, um, like, not Jeeps, but, like, you know, off-road vehicles. And uh, that was pretty interesting. That was an interesting experience because we'd never done it before. I think my brother has, but it was pretty cool because, like, we... Um, went to um we went to a some uh place it's like about an hour from here and um we went on a bunch of path trails that were made you know by the place and uh, we got lost quite a bit and we also had some incidents where we got stuck and we needed help from um, other people um there was a lot of different trails from like easy to like moderate to hard and like the difficulty and uh, we did some we did some first time like straight up difficult like you know inclines with a bunch of rocks and people have like tipped their truck at that place uh, but anyways yeah we didn't have an incident where we flipped or tipped or anything which is great but we uh, got stuck a few times and one time got stuck in the mud my brother and my dad was in a vehicle, and I was in a vehicle with mom, and they were ahead of us. They tilted into the mud, and it just sunk them in by the wheel. And they were tipping. They looked like they were about to flip, and their truck got stuck. Or I should just say Jeep. It's basically like a Jeep, but it, yeah, anyways, the four-wheel vehicle got stuck, and some people, nice people came along, and uh, they came and helped them got a like some I forgot exactly what the tool is called but it was like a rope to a tree connected to like to our vehicle and using the force of the tree they turned on their engine and they pulled them out of the mud so it was a very interesting experience we uh, you know it kind of brings back a quote that is famous for this place and it's not all who wonder are lost so there were times getting on this trip where we were wondering and everything, and I just had faith. I knew that we weren't going to get lost. I didn't feel lost, even though we didn't exactly know exactly how to get to this cabin, because it wasn't obvious at all. But we were heading in the right direction, and we just kind of, you know, picked a place, guessed another place, and we narrowed it down to where we found our cabin. And that was another thing, was getting here, of course finding our way when we were driving on the four wheels out, you know, out in the woods, you know. So, you're not lost. You're just finding your way. So in life, we can apply this to life because, you know, like, out in nature, I quite often think about life, which life is a series of just making decisions. Hopefully really good ones that better and improve where you are. But, you know, wondering... You know, the, you know, that's life, and that doesn't mean you're lost. You're just finding your way. And, you know, God's got you. You're, you're in good hands. Just have faith, and don't walk alone. Yes, life is tricky, but you've got what it takes. I've been learning that quite, at this stage of my life, I've been learning a lot about how I want to approach life in my future. Because we have to make these decisions on how we're going to approach it. And there's, you know, looking for the objective truth, God's truth, of how to approach life. is only the best way to approach life. And, um, yeah, this is just, it's a, just amazing. And it speaks for itself, connecting with nature. And, uh, yeah, Let's see if there's anything else I can bring up in this conversation. Well, we went to eat at a couple different places while we were here. Went to a pizza place. And um, it was a, just a local, it was a local pizza place. And uh, it was actually really good. And um, I got a couple things. I just, uh, for souvenirs, I got soap. And I got lotion. But it's natural stuff. And I, I'm a na I like natural things, you know, natural products. So I got a couple of those. Um, 
and um, we um, also went to a place that was general. It had just a bunch of, you know, it just had a bunch of different selections, or at least just a few. It had burgers and burritos, and you know, chips and you know, guacamole. It was really good. I got a burrito there, and I also like salads. I really like, you know, an actual chicken salad, so that's what I got at the pizza place, actually, because I was trying to eat light on this vacation, you know? I'm getting, I mean, I'm pretty good at, you know, my learning for, you know, how to eat. I've been learning a lot over the last year about health, so I've really been doing research, and I've, you know, I've been learning about, you know, what, you know, what's to eat and uh, for health, um, diet, exercise, sleep. Yeah, I've been trying to, you know, really get educated about those things. And I do spend, you know, I do like to do research, for sure. I, I don't, um, like, I do research on um, Google, you know, YouTube, watch YouTube videos, you know, just learn about general things. I'll just, like, look up general or, you know, interesting things. And, um, yeah, I always love, you know, learning. And, um... Connecting with nature. I um I like nature, but I want to love nature. You know, I don't connect with nature nearly enough. Like, um, I know that I could love or enjoy nature more than I currently do, but I, I I'm, I'm working on getting to that place where I say I can say I love nature. Like, and I think, you know, I just tell myself I love nature, and it's true. I feel like we could like relate, everybody could relate to that in this respect that connecting with nature more brings you more drawn to that. And like, I don't connect enough, honestly, to being honest. But I want to be a, natu a naturalist in a sense, like, you know, connecting with the world that God made. Like, God made all of this and that is the inspiration okay this was made by a divine creator who is love himself and that is Jesus Christ and what we can take away from this is that God has the whole world the whole universe in his hands he made everything and he made us for a special purpose We have free will, and like life is about making decisions to lead you to the next step that could even potentially change your life. Having faith will ensure your success. And having faith in Jesus, nothing else, not the world, not material things, but the spiritual is what matters, and the heart. That is what matters in this world. Putting your faith in Jesus to guide you. Because he already has your life planned out. Like, he already knows. He is omnipotent. He knows what your future holds. And he will bless you and only do good for you. Because God is good. You just follow him and trust him. And give your burdens and things that you carry. Give it to him. Don't hold on to it. Even if nobody else can really help in your situation, God will always be there to help. And he will put the right people in your life. So... I just, I'm just inspired and getting saved is, is another essential, you know, to go to heaven, of course, we must be saved, saved by God's goodness and only him can we be saved. It's not by our works or the things that we do. It's by just trusting God and asking him to be the Lord over our lives and all you really need to do is say a simple prayer where you ask God to come into your life. And um, you just say, like, Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins and you carried those burdens for me. You did all of that for me. And I want, I ask you to be the Lord of my life. 
and to come over and come into my heart today. And once you say that, you are heaven bound, my friend. You are a child of God. And there is nothing greater, no greater honor, no greater privilege than that. And God will only give you peace, love, and joy in that. And so with that, my friends, I hope that you have a blessed week. And I will... YouTube, I haven't been on in a while, but every month I will try to make a video. I will try to take inspiration, as I did here. And, um, yeah, so... Have a great week, everyone. Stay blessed. Peace.